Welcome. We're covering today the Behringer ARP 2500 Mod Amp module, the 1005, and it's a combination of balance modulator and VCA. Let's get a broader view of how we've got it connected. There are two inputs, similar to the two inputs on the ring modulator, and the default inputs there on the 2600 are VCO1 sawtooth and VCO2 sine wave. So we've taken VCO1 sawtooth, routed it into input A, VCO2 sine wave, routed it into input B. We also have an envelope from here routed into the CV in for the VCA. And again, that's similar to the VCA up here. We've got a number of other controls that make this a really sophisticated module, which is why it warrants a little time and effort to understand what these controls are and why they've been put here. First of all, these two inputs also have attenuators here. And second, the unmod mod switches the uh, balanced modulator in and out of the signal chain. So we've got this set up as a regular VCA. If we turn up the manual gain, we'll hear the signal that's going through. We can also uh, turn this down a couple of other places. One, this is a, a DC control for the gain of the mod amp. And that's part of the mechanism for bypassing the mod amp. We've also got volume control here. When we're in unmod, the input B attenuator does nothing because this has switched it out of the signal path and substituted this DC voltage in its place. When we go to mod, it reintroduces the input 2 into control of the balanced modulator and you get this uh, funky modulation that's similar to what you'd get with a ring modulator. In this case, these two oscillators are tuned very close to each other. Let's turn that down. Um, a couple of other notes. Uh, this switch allows you to switch the control type to either linear, which is what we've got now since we've got an exponential uh, envelope, uh, or exponential if you had, for instance, an LFO that you wanted to have control the VCA. So those are the fundamentals except for this section here and that's where it gets a little bit complicated. Um, one of these will control only VCO2 and one will be routed to both VCO1 and VCO2. I've got it precisely set up so that it will be in tune as we switch between mod and unmod. If I took out either of these uh, precision controls then it would no longer be in t tune as you switched between the two. So that's the function of these two knobs. I 
I'm doing one other trick to uh, get the the kind of changes that you saw. Let's put this toggle back in here and play a note. You have to have it in unmod for this gate in to work that toggles between these two. I'm using the duophonic keyboard to change the the note of VCO2. That's a fifth. That's a fourth. That's an octave. That's unison. The only other thing to add is that you can man electronically press these buttons. The mod and the unmod with these inputs that anything over 4 volts will toggle these switches electronically. And you can, for instance, use a sequencer gate output, anything between 4 and 12 volts to switch the mod on and off so it provides really quite a bit of flexibility in terms of controlling this module and you've heard some of the cool sounds that you can get the only thing I'll do in addition to that is I'm gonna play a note and show you what happens as we turn these knobs That's the demo. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, please click like and consider subscribing if you'd like to hear more content like this.